Welcome to the Stanford Healthcare Emergency Department. Our goal is to provide you with the highest quality, most compassionate care possible. As part of your medical treatment today, your doctor has recommended that you undergo a procedure called paracentesis. There are many reasons to perform this procedure, including severe abdominal pain or abdominal distension, unexplained fluid within the abdomen, concern for abdominal fluid infection, or to relieve pressure within the abdomen caused by large amounts of fluid. You may ask your doctor for the specific reason you require a paracentesis if you are uncertain. The goal of this procedure is to remove fluid from your abdomen. In order to collect fluid, a needle will be inserted carefully into the abdomen. Depending on your symptoms, your doctor may remove a small amount of fluid or a large amount of fluid. In general, only a small amount of fluid will be removed if your doctor needs to send your fluid for testing. A large amount of fluid will be removed if your doctor needs to relieve pressure caused by accumulation of fluid. This is a relatively common procedure, performed approximately 150,000 times per year in the U.S. The results of this test will help the doctor decide how best to treat you further. This procedure will occur in your room and usually takes approximately 30 minutes, including setup. The laboratory testing of the fluid that is collected usually takes approximately two hours. In preparation for the procedure, your doctor will tell you which position you should be placed in, usually lying on your back with the head of the bed slightly elevated. The doctor will instruct you to raise your arms above your head like you are relaxing at the beach and hold this position during the procedure. It is very important that you do not move abruptly as sudden movement can dislodge or move the needle. Remaining still in the correct position will increase the chance of success of the procedure. After positioning, the doctor will sometimes use an ultrasound machine to help choose the safest location to insert the needle. The doctor will wash your abdomen with a powerful soap. Next, numbing medication will be injected into the skin. You will feel a prick when the numbing medication is administered with a small needle. After numbing, there is usually not a significant amount of pain with this procedure, though some pressure and discomfort may occur. After your skin is numb, a needle will gently be inserted in your abdomen until fluid can be drawn back. The fluid flows slowly through the needle. If your doctor removes a small amount of fluid for testing, this can take up to one minute. If your doctor removes a large amount of fluid, this can take up to 30 minutes. The needle may look long, but will be inserted the shortest distance until it can draw back fluid. The most common risks of this procedure are similar to the risks of a needle insertion anywhere else in your body and include pain, bleeding, infection, or hitting nearby structures. Your doctor will review your laboratory results, visualize your abdomen using ultrasound, and perform the procedure with sterile equipment to minimize these risks. These risks rarely cause permanent damage. There is also a possibility that the doctor is unable to obtain abdominal fluid. Small amounts of fluid, obesity, pregnancy, or difficulty holding the correct position are common causes. Very rare but life-threatening risks of this procedure are serious bleeding or damage to nearby organs. Our doctors strive to always act in the best interest of you, their patient, and would not recommend this procedure if they believe that the risks outweighed the benefits of this procedure. Thank you for watching this video, and please feel free to replay it as needed. Your doctor and nurse will be happy to answer any questions you may have.